Hello and welcome to Dateline Lagos and Channels Television. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Coming up on the program, Governor Sonwulu launches Lagos Revenue Portal, Governor Sonwulu opens last red line flyover in Moshi, and Lagos State Government distributes agricultural inputs and assets to beneficiaries of Lagos Cares. Lagos State has accomplished the most advanced technique in its revenue collection and management system with the launch of a one-stop automated portal for the collection of all taxes and levies payable to the state government. Governor Babaji de Sanwolu launched the Lagos Revenue Portal, a user-friendly digital platform which is designed for ease and efficient administration of the state's internally generated revenue. Please take a look. Simplifying the process of tax payments in Lagos is the reason for this gathering at Ikeja GRA. Governor Babajide Sonwolu is Deputy Kadri Amzat, State Executive Council members, senior officials from the Lagos Inland Revenue Service, and stakeholders in the business sector are here to witness the latest innovation achieved by Governor Sonwolu's administration, which is the Lagos Revenue Portal. Lagos Revenue Portal is a centralized repository for bill generating ministries, departments, and agencies in the state thereby affording taxpayers the opportunity to effortlessly view all payments in one window. The Lagos State Digital Revenue Assurance and Growth Journey started 23 years ago, that is in 2001, when Nigeria's, Nigeria's first state revenue automation and collection tool was launched in Lagos. Over the years, Several other automated initiatives, such as ePay, RefPay, and so on, have been implemented. And today, we are launching the Lagos Revenue Portal. Of course, the Lagos Revenue Portal is an enterprise revenue assurance application suit designed for the administration of every revenue stream in Lagos State. It allows us to move closer to the people that we are serving by providing multiple payment channels that is easy, that is simple, that is efficient, and that is transparent. It also allows self-service and automated reversals. In short, revenue collection has been brought closer to the people. We are here to celebrate a forward-thinking innovation in the annals of Lagos State Revenue Payment Cycle a payer-centric, fully digitized, and transformative platform developed for payers' convenience and seamless operation for revenue stakeholders. The LRP is, a unique, is unique in several ways, including but not limited to the following. It's a self-service interface. It allows payers to interact with the payment system, bill management, integration of all payment platforms, instantaneous receipting and validation, automated reversal and amendment request is possible on LRP. Evaluation of multiple and uh, integration of multiple channels of payment, which includes card, bank transfer, USSD, POS, QR code, to mention but few. Artificial intelligence board is also integrated it, it to enhance efficiency and improve digital inclusion. To our ever supporting Lagos State payers, it is of importance to put on record that Lagos State's commitment to revamp the revenue infrastructure is all encompassing and goes beyond launch of LRP. The operational leg of the new Lagos State strategic revenue framework also includes integration of all cognate revenue MDAs data and processes. A 24 by 7 real time channel for inquiries, complaints, and support services. Harmonization between state and local government revenue management. The LRP and other several initiatives were only possible through the commitment of Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, who has always challenged us to strive more and on and to strive more, and the unflinching support of Mr. Deputy Governor, Dr. Kadri Obafemi Amsad. We are indeed blessed to have the duo leading the affairs 
of our dear state at this critical moment in the annal of Lagos revenue history. Then a brief review of the Lagos Revenue Portal. We have searched download bills, outstanding bills, generate bills for MDAs that allow taxpayers to self-generate their bills. Uh, we have talked about this on the dashboard. On the taxpayer services, we have a um, customer remittance statement. Um, customer remittance statement is just like our statement of account. So if you want to print your statements, you come here, you put your start date, you put your end date, then you preview. Once you do that, you get this beautiful page that can be downloaded. Chairman of Lagos Inland Revenue Service says the new portal will improve operational capabilities and reinforce the trust of citizens in the government. It is imperative to reiterate that taxes due to Lagos State Government are to be remitted through the e-tax platform, which is the primary portal for tax administration in the state. The Lagos Revenue Portal, which is not a standalone application, complements the e-tax application and serves as a one-stop shop for all other revenue collections, including but not limited to fees, charges, fines, and penalties. This innovation marks a new chapter in this administration's ongoing efforts to enhance transparency, efficiency, and convenience in our revenue collection processes. This itself is premised on two of the pillars of the Teams Plus agenda of Governor Babaji de Olushola Samuelu, which are education and technology and making Lagos State a 21st century mega city. In today's rapidly evolving digital world, the need for a modern, streamlined, and user-friendly system cannot be overemphasized. This portal is a testament to our commitment to embracing technology and innovation to better serve our citizens, businesses, and other stakeholders. By simplifying access to tax and non-tax revenue services, we are not only improving our operational capabilities, but also reinforcing the trust that the public places in the administration of our indefatigable and ever resilient Mr. Governor and Mr. Deputy Governor. This technology-driven initiative puts Lagos on the right track and the Deputy Governor buttresses the fact that the revenue collection portal will allow business owners run their business with ease. The Ministry of Innovation, Science and Technology is doing an enterprise architecture. What that means it allows us to put everything in silos together. So we have one source of truth. You know, like they say, truth doesn't have any, it doesn't have any wings. Truth is the truth. So it allows us to have one source of truth. So what this does for us, is it makes business easy to do in Lagos. So our non-tax revenue will be easy to understand and identify. So it stratify our data per sector. So, anybody, the Chairman House Committee on Transportation, the Governor, anybody can just say, I even want to know all the revenue that comes in through transportation, through everything transportation, or anything waterfront. So you can segment it and be able to understand. So for the MDAs, the challenge is this. If it's not in the portal, you can't talk about it. Can I say that again? So if we say that, oh, my ministry or my agency, we generated X, and that X is minus one here, is minus one that you had. So if it is not here, so this is our source of truth. So if it is not here, then the opposite of truth is what? So, <laughs> so we must all plug in here to make sure that we can have access to our data. Governor Sonwolu says the electronic banking system of revenue circle management has now harmonized various collection avenues into a single revenue stream for ease of management, accountability, and distribution. Through it, therefore, governance and development can be met. We can fund critical infrastructure. We can make funding available for essential services 
and we can improve the quality of life of every Lagosian. Achieving this, however, requires a system that is not only robust, but a system that is also transparent and user-friendly. This is where the Lagos Revenue Portal comes in. The Lagos Revenue Portal is more than just a platform. It is a game changer. It is designed to streamline our payer enumeration process. It is a system that will make it easier for individuals and businesses to comply fully with their constitutional obligation, which is their tax obligation. By in simplifying this process, we're removing whatever barriers that we have. Barriers for compliance, we're removing it, which we believe that in turn it will boost our revenue base. But more than that, we're promoting a culture of accountability and transparency in revenue collection. I think we deserve a round of applause for that. You know, it's not only meant to just want to collect it. We want to collect it in a friendly manner. We want to collect it beating our chest that transparently we're doing that and we're doing it with full accountability, knowing fully well that that's why we are in government. And so we see this portal aligning with our broader vision of making Lagos a truly, really, really smart city, a place where technology and innovation drives progress. Going forward, individuals, business owners, and companies in Lagos State are expected to utilize the Lagos Revenue Portal to make all forms of payments that will in turn boost revenue of Lagos State. Away from revenue collection initiative to infrastructure development. Now, this time the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Samwalu, has commissioned the Mushin flyover built along the Red Line Rail Corridor. Speaking at the event, Governor Samwalu says he has fulfilled the promise made to the people and with the completion of the overpass, pedestrians and vehicular interference will be eliminated on the rail tracks. The completion of the fifth overpass designed to create a separate corridor for vehicles and red line train has brought the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu, his deputy Kadri Amza Tumushi, and are well received by the people. The flyover located in Mushi is part of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Red Line project to ensure easy, safe and smooth movement of train and vehicles along the Red Line corridor. The 37-kilometer road project undertaken by the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority is part of the state government's intermodal transportation initiative that will make commuting a lot easier. So this is the fourth one out of the four that we built. In fairness, we were giving five of them to do, but um, the fifth one had already been built. They are getting pencil in my overpass. I really don't think today is a day for speeches. It is just a day for us to acknowledge the work that has been done by the state, to also acknowledge those who have partnered with us, um, the community, because we couldn't have done this without the support of the community and we thank you. The uh, Nigerian Railway Corporation, because we're crossing over their track, the House of Assembly, who have supported us from the very beginning of this project. Governor Sonwolu says the road infrastructure will change the face of Mushi and also bring relief to motorists connecting Agege Motor Road from Munikpan. We are here to fulfill what this government had said. We had promised Lagosians that we're going to change the face of real public transportation in Lagos. But in doing that, we'll also be solving a lot of traffic, transportation, vehicular movement solutions for our citizens. So you can imagine this place that used to be from Unipan on the 
um, Shomolu Ikorudu Road side of Lagos to the Agege Motor Road, Ogumekwabi, Ogumoku, Post Office Ogumoku, up onto Agege Motor Road of Lagos, putting this overpass that will connect <coughs> the two communities seamlessly, both in vehicular and pedestrian connection. You can imagine the economic value and the economic benefit this, this bridge has done to these two communities. Journeys that hitherto will take, because I mean the rail is, I'll talk about the rail, will have taken them <clears throat> 45 minutes, one hour, just to go and turn all the way at Moshalashi or Jibu, all the way at Uju Elekba to come to Ikurudu Road or vice versa, you'll have gone to go all the way on Ikurudu Road to Ilupeju, you know, to go all the way to Ikeja, to go and turn to come onto Agege Motor Road. All that are things of the past now. <clears throat> all that are things of the past now because you can do it in a safe and a secure environment. But more importantly, is our solution to ensure that there is minimal disruption on the red line corridor. And so that is why this overpass is strategically important to ensure that that is the Mushi station right behind you, which Mr. President commissioned concurrently earlier in the year. And you know that we promised five overpasses. This is the fifth one that this administration has promised and we have delivered. Yaba, Oyingbo, Ikeja, Agege and Moshin flyovers have been completed and delivered by the Lagos State Government to create better connectivity along the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Red Line from Agbado to Oyingbo. Lagosians, it is no news that the present administration of Mr. Governor Babajide Sawulu delivered projects in different sectors of the economy through the theme's agenda. With this success in mind, the second term of the present administration has included social inclusion, gender equality, and the affairs of youths in its agenda. Now, we have the Themes Plus agenda. With this, no one is left behind on account of their social status, gender, or age. Lagosians, be prepared for another four years of a total revamp in all sectors. Ibegai Kuleiko, Ajumoshinyu. Finally on the program, the Lagos State Government has supported 10,000 farmers with farming inputs to increase their production. The State Commissioner for Agriculture and Food Systems, Abisola Ulusoya, who was speaking at the fourth cycle disbursement of agricultural inputs and assets to beneficiaries of Lagos CARES Initiative under the NCARES program, says the distribution of agricultural inputs to farmers is to reduce food prices and also boost food production in the state. Oh! It's the fourth cycle empowerment initiative in Lagos under the Nigeria COVID-19 Action Recovery and Economic Stimulus Program at the Johnson Aguirre Complex, Okwaba Agege. The Fadama Lagos Cares Project is a response plan to the disruption caused by COVID-19 pandemic, which affected individuals, business owners, including farmers. The program under the State Ministry of Agriculture and Food Systems is to support 10,000 farmers across the four disbursement-linked indicators with essential agricultural feed, fertilizer, water pump equipment, smoking kiln, and other working tools to boost their business and also increase food production. Great farmers! No farmers! Senior officials from the State Ministry of Agriculture and Food Systems and other stakeholders in charge of the program joined the farmers to hand over the items to them and also encourage them to utilize the agricultural inputs judiciously. This uh, silica and the grass burner is for uh, uh, fryers and it will benefit as individuals within their group. Then here we have the smoking pin, the generator and the freezer with some other things like wind scale. COVID happened and disrupt plants, disrupt food production systems disrupt most economic activities, not just in Nigeria, but globally. So it's a reality and something we do have to live with. And sometimes 
things don't always go the way we want it to go. But beyond that also, government is caring. Government is concerned about the welfare and the well-being of the citizenry in the state, especially our food system champions, our farmers, and our food processors, everyone operating within the state's food systems in Lagos State. Mr. Governor is demonstrating his care by these imputes that is going to our farmers in the state. And this is to reinflate your businesses and restore us to before COVID. And I'm sure that all of these people that you can see here today, and many more that will say happen, will get across to all our farmers, not just those who say, seated here, but all our farmers across the 57 local government areas and local council development areas of the state. You must use this judiciously. This is not for you to start selling it. Gonna the do this Tawarirun Kobai Tamamata. Please let us support what our governor is doing. He is trying to banish anger. Recently we had a protest from our youth saying anger. And now they are giving this to you to assist to ameliorate anger. So this time around. Please don't sell it. The project coordinator of Lagos Cares hands over the distribution report for the last three cycles to the commissioner in charge. In the last three cycles, Ma, we have tried our best in the spirit of Lagos State, in the spirit of agriculture and food system in Lagos State. To be inclusive, to be transparent, and to be honest with what we are doing. So what we have done, we have documented in posts, in pictures, in data. And today, we want to hand it over to our Honorable Commissioner for all world transmission to Mr. Governor. The beneficiaries express their gratitude to the government. This is a 100% assistance from a legal system government, in conjunction with federal government, right, to boost my production, whereby I'll be able to produce more than what I'm producing before. And with this one now, it will boost the, I mean, uh, the productivity of the food in the circulation. Go to the market, be able to supply markets, supply individual, in fact, even possibly exports. It's very difficult for us to feed our uh, to, to buy uh, food so the, the food is very cost so if the government can help us in this aspect to, to do more we'll be very happy please welcome development and in fact it's even timely because at a time when um, our aspiration is to ensure that we 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 answer you know, this having power, having power, you know, all, um, um, all over the country. It's vegetable farm. So it goes to show you that farming knows no boundaries. You can be a banker and be a farmer. You can be a doctor and be a farmer. The Commissioner for Agriculture and Food Systems says initiative kicked off in 2022 by the federal government in collaboration with the World Bank is a continuous exercise in Lagos State that will be supporting specific clusters registered with the state government. This cycle will be supporting 10,000 farmers, not just farmers, but processors, marketers. And um, you can see what is happening behind us here. You have farmers from the poultry sector, aquaculture, fisheries, um, sheep and goats, vegetables, ruminants. And you can see that across all sectors, everyone is getting something. So you have cluster production support. You have individual farmer support as well. And across all of the local governments, these farmers have been identified. Farms have been visited, have been evaluated, and the support has been continuous. Also, you have the renovation and upgrade of wet markets. So markets where um, things like meats are sold. There has been upgrade that has also been ongoing and infrastructure support in areas where rural accessibility has been poor. Um, with all of these interventions under the 
um, leadership of Mr. Babaji de Olushola Songolu for Lagos. We have recorded progress. Um, there's still a long way to go, trust me, uh, but we'll continue to support. The ministry itself, in its usual activation enterprise support program, it's also coming up with support to be given to specific clusters around specific foods, such that we see that a reduction in prices is what obtains for all Lagosians. The bottom line still ends up being the accessibility to market. There's a lot of support that has been going to farmers for so many years. There are farmers that we recognize, even here on ground, you can see, even you as a reporter, you see faces that are familiar, you know that these farmers have gotten support over the years. They produce and they sell at low prices to middlemen, but these uh, these foods get to the market at much higher prices, which is why we are also calling on Lagosians or Nigerians to please food items, the margins being placed on them shouldn't be so excessive. The margins should be something that you and I as Nigerians and anybody at all should be able to afford. So even we in building more markets, the idea is to get accessibility for farmers to bring produce and as such, everyone will see a reduction in price. So these farmers will be supported with that as well, farm accessibility, market accessibility, and we hope to see the reduction that we all want to see in food. 5,570 fish feed, 4,740 poultry feed, 1,000 pig feed, amongst other items will be distributed to farmers to reduce food prices and also drive food security in Lagos State. So this is where we call it a day on this week's edition of the program, Dateline Lagos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Remember, be the best you can, obey all state laws, live a healthy life, keep our environment clean as well. But most importantly, please stay safe. Till next time, it's bye for now.